All right, what's up, everybody? It's Demo the Warrior here, and welcome back to my career with Nigel Thornberry. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. I'm back in school, and I was busy with shit, but now I'm back. I might not be posting as much, but I'm back, and I'm going to continue this my career. As you see, Nigel has had a bit of a wardrobe change. I felt it was needed, and yeah, so... If you're wondering why it says August week 2, it's because I skipped a week. And if you must know why, I recorded, and it was Nigel vs. Finn Balor again on NXT for some reason. And the match ended stupidly with the garbage-ass submission system. So, and then after that, he had to face Hideo Tommy on Superstars again, so I skipped that match. Now we're on week 2 fresh start and we're facing Fandango of all people because 2k was too lazy to get more people from the NXT roster on this game oh Jesus Christ I'm sorry that like that first week just put me in such a bad mood but anyway anyway let's let's move on like you guys don't even know that like just to start off and have all that happen put me in such a fucking bad mood I was like ranting and going off I know you guys probably would have found that funny. I did, but I was like, and there's no reason to post it because, like, you guys have already seen him versus Balor and him versus the Tommy. Like, I don't know how many times, and I don't know why the game keeps like repeating everything where it has you face one person like five times, and the outcome is like always the same. Now, I swear, there better not be no use of the fucking submission system in this match. If Fandango gets me in a submission system, I'm done. Like, if he does that, I'm just going to be done. But, try to get myself in a better mood. Try to calm down. And now we got Nigel coming out. And here's Nigel. Wearing his new attire. As you see. What the fuck? Hold up. What the fuck is going on now? What the hell, dude? Big fucking cast. What the fuck is your problem? What the fuck is your problem, big cast? I don't understand this at all. What the fuck is going on here? Why does everybody just try to attack Nigel? Yeah, slap the fuck out of you, bitch. You ain't shit, big Cass. But look, Nigel still got his hat and his glasses on. He's still whipping your ass. Come here, bitch. Mm. Get him, Nigel. Kick his ass, Nigel. Why are big Cass's eyes so big? Alright, you know what? Sit your ass down. I didn't tell you to get up and start running like fucking Bigfoot. Sit your fucking ass down. I, I don't want to keep doing that. Oh, well, okay. Because uh, that's, how, that's how it goes. Okay. Okay. Try not to get pissed off. That, but look, this is getting like stupid. Like, this is getting retarded stupid sometimes. What did Big Cass coming out do? What? Please join me in welcoming my guest tonight. Nigel Thornberry. Say it, you fucking bimbo. Let's talk about Colin Cassidy. Who gives a fuck about Colin Cassidy? How do you feel about him ambushing you tonight during your own match? He can suck on the duo for all I care. Fucking attacking Nigel. Big Cass is a tag team wrestler, not a single superstar. Nigel is ready for the goddamn NXT title match. He hasn't had anything to do with the NXT champion yet. So I want to know what the fuck's going on because he's number one contender and they're putting him in a fucking story with Big Cass, which makes absolutely no fucking sense. How do you feel about him ambushing you tonight during your own match? It's not like I wanted to wrestle Fandango anyway. It would have been a fucking one minute match. Nothing new here. My matches are the best. He got me heated. I got ambushed. Uh, okay. I got ambushed. I got ambushed? I felt a gnat on my back earlier. Exactly. Is that what you were talking about? Well, guess what? That gnat is going to get smashed. Got any more ridiculous questions for me? Yeah. 
Things have been getting heated between you two. What are your thoughts on this? No, they haven't. No, they have not. Don't ask a stupid question like that. Things have been getting heated between you two. When? He came out and attacked me for no reason. When have we been getting heated? What, do we have a fight over a goddamn dinner? Who would eat the most food? What the fuck are you talking about? Have been getting heated. What are your thoughts on this rivalry? It's not a fucking rivalry, dude. It's not. Big Cass has nothing to do with fucking anything. With all, With all due, due respect, respect to him, to him I'm, focused I'm focused on other matchups in the WWE. Exactly. I only want to face, face the best. best. So for so now, now, I see I no see point, point in facing him in a match. match. I want exactly. bigger matchups. Exactly. Exactly how I fucking feel. There's no reason to face Big Cass. There you have it. Back, Back to you, to Cole. Cole. Fucking get his long hair, fucking Bigfoot looking ass out of here. Jesus Christ, man. I'm really not trying to be mad today, but it seems like this game, every episode, I get more and more pissed off. Because this game just does, makes borderline retarded decisions. And it expects me to just, oh, keep playing. You'll get the title eventually after three fucking years. Let's put you in a bunch of pointless rivalries. Hey, how about you face Fandango? That'll be good. How about you, how about you get in a rivalry with Big Cass? Because that's what people want to see. Look at all these jobbers. The primetime players and Kevin Owens versus the Lucha Dragons and Neville. Fuck me with a crowbar. That's horrible. Watch. Watch. Nigel versus Hideo Tommy. Yep. Nothing ever fucking changes, does it? It doesn't. It, it, are they in a fucking best of seven series? I don't fucking understand this shit. Why does he keep facing Hideo Tommy on Superstars? This is legit the eighth fucking time. Shit never fucking changes. What the fuck? Talking about some... Oh, in-depth career mode with career-defining choices. Yeah, bullshit in-depth. How in-depth in is it if you have one cutscene where you actually get to choose what you want to say? And you, then you have to face the same fucking person five... Six, seven, eight, however many you can count up to fucking times. He has faced Hideo Tommy so many fucking times. It's fucking nauseating. I'm not trying to get pissed off. But when shit like this happens, it legit pisses me off. I'm throwing this match. I'm throwing this match. I'm throwing this match. I don't fucking care anymore. This is literally the same match he had on Superstars for like a month in a fucking row. And it means nothing if you lose on Superstars. Nothing. It, d it doesn't put you down. It doesn't raise you up. So there's no fucking point of even being on Superstars. Why do they even have Superstars? It's not on television. You have to go on WWE.com to watch it. So what the fuck's the point? Somebody tell me what the point of this is. Because I'm just fucking... Throwing this match, I don't even care. Yeah, he just hit me with it, but he didn't get disqualified. Yep, there you go. Fuck off, game. I hope you're happy. Who fucking cares? Jesus fucking Christ, dude. How many times do you have to face fucking Hideo Tommy? Hideo Tommy can be doing better things than facing me. Why don't you fucking go blow up Pearl Harbor or something? I'll stop. I'm getting too serious. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. I'll stop. <laughs> I'll stop. <laughs> I, I, re I really didn't mean for it to get that heated. But it's like seriously. It's pissing me off. <sighs> Jesus. Got fucking Coach Foster music playing. For those of you who don't know who that is, there's this guy named Coach Foster down at the uh, stadium that me and my friends wrestle at, and he looks like Mark Henry. Watch well, it be some bullshit. Aiden English, and how is Aiden English in the rankings? Let's let's check the rankings. Yeah, Nigel is the number one contender, and he has not touched. He's not smelled Kevin Owens yet. He's not even seen Kevin Owens yet. So tell me, why is he facing somebody that's a rank 5? Why the fuck does it even matter for him to... Just put him in a rivalry with Kevin Owens already, for fuck's sake, dude. What's Kevin Owens doing? 
Yeah, Bo Dallas versus Kevin Owens, but you can't put Nigel, the number one fucking contender in a rivalry with him, but you can put Bo Dallas in a match with him. Yeah. How about, instead of big fucking cash, you have Kevin Owens come out and attack him, and actually make a good fucking storyline, instead of an attack every week, and then a fucking Photoshop promo for every fucking pay-per-view. Jesus Christ, 2K did not even try on this fucking career mode. They really didn't. This is almost a bigger letdown than the 2K15 career mode, and that's really stretching it. <laughs> Let's just fucking get this match over with. I can't lose this match because he's in the rankings, and it's not superstar, so I can't throw the match. So you guys are going to have to sit through this. Unless you don't want to, click off the video and go to the next episode. I'm pretty sure it's posted by now. Oh, fuck you, Aiden. I'm completely livid right now. This game puts me in such a fucking bad mood every time I play it, but for some some reason I like it. I don't know why. Yeah, Crush is a little scrawny ass. Talking about something quite manly. Why don't you get up and fucking sing a song or something, Aiden in English? That's what you're good for. Not my fault you're a waste of a fucking talent, you and Simon Gotch. Why does Nigel have so much heat? What did he do? After he fought Finn Battle, the crowd was hot for Nigel. And now that he's getting booed, I don't understand this. Now they're cheering him. WWE 2016 fans for you. Half and half suplex. I don't even fucking get I'm not even gonna commentate on the match. I'm just gonna keep going off because this is this is just so stupid. Why does he have to face Aiden English? Somebody who's not even worthy of getting near an NXT championship. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, you keep doing the same move over and over again. That's because I don't fucking care, okay? If I actually wanted to make this a good match like the one with Finn Balor, I'd actually try. And yes, I just botched that. I hope he gets injured. I really do. He doesn't deserve to be anywhere near a fucking NXT championship. There's no reason he should be number five. It's because 2K was so fucking lazy that they couldn't go out and get more people for the NXT fucking roster. Kick you in the fucking head, you piece of shit. Aiden English fucking sucks, dude. Mm. I don't like doing this this way, but it's gonna have to. Bitch. Come on, ref. Just, uh, just end this. Does he really need to... to tell me. Does he really need to kick out? I understand a victory over Nigel would do wonders for him. But it, this does nothing for Nigel if he wins. Oh, it just makes sure he stays number one contender. Oh, my God. Fuck off. Just don't oversell that chop. Get the fuck up. Whatever, dude. What the fuck was that? Wow, 2K. Fix your fucking game, dude. I literally grabbed him, and then it... it ah, oh my God. Now the fucking reversal thing, you know what? I, I swear to God, I was about to lose my fucking shit right there. I was about to lose my fucking mind right there. Dude, I, I was about to like, that, if that would have happened and he would have got demoted, I would have been done with my career. There would never be another episode. Gotta build all this back up again because, oh, they got a kick out of a finisher! Jesus fucking Christ, dude. How are you supposed to make a move a finisher if people kick out of it? He's not John Cena. He's not Roman Reigns. There's no reason for him to kick out of it. And I'm not spending 90,000 points. So I can have another fucking taunt. Because it doesn't really fucking matter. There you go, Nigel. Nigel has dominated this whole match. This is like a freaking Brock Lesnar match. In 